If your child has coarse hair like this and you have no idea how to blow dry it, just stay tuned because I got you. I'm going to show you how to properly blow dry your child's hair without damaging it and getting it straight in the end. So the first thing you're going to need if you don't already have it is a blow dryer. And specifically, you want a blow dryer that has a comb attachment with it. So if you're somebody that uses a brush, like professionals can use a brush while blow drying, the hair for you at home is going to be easier for you to use a comb attachment when blow drying your child's hair. This is going to make sure that the heat is evenly distributed and that while you're blow, try blow drying the hair, you are lengthening the hair at the the same time the next thing you want to do is make sure that your hair is washed with a good moisturizing shampoo and that you put a good leave-in conditioner so that you can run your fingers through it your shit you should be able to run your fingers through your child's hair after you have washed the hair it should be soft enough to do that the next thing you want to do is turn your blow dryer on and you want to start at the ends of your child's hair and then work your way up so we're going to start at the ends this is going to reduce damage to the hair and while you're on the ends of the hair you want to make sure that you stabilize the child's head while you're blow drying so you see how i'm holding the hair and using the blow dryer at the same time so i'm stabilizing her head because children they move their heads all around they be all over the place they don't really understand how to hold their hair head still or understand proper resistance when blow drying like adults do so you have to blow dry and stabilize their head at the same time or your back gonna be hurt and your child gonna be crying you're gonna be all over the place and it's just gonna be a mess you also want to section your hair off, section your hair off, I forgot to say that. And you want to make sure that you're not just like yanking through the child's hair. Like if their hair is coarse, you don't want to just yank through the child's hair. That's why you start at the ends and work your way up. And then you can also switch up the position of the blow dryer depending on what area of the head that you're blow drying. So in the previous clip, I was holding the nozzle, and now this time I'm holding the handle to be able to blow dry the back of her hair properly. And this is going to help you get the hair as straight as possible with just blow drying the hair. So like I said, you want to make sure that you um, section the hair off. And you want to do the same thing. Start at the ends and then work your way up. Make sure you put a good leave-in conditioner. And this is going to help your child's hair not be tangled. This is going to help you when you're styling your child's hair so that you can get through their hair easier so that they're not crying. You can see Shiloh is not crying here. She's sitting still because I'm not pulling and yanking on her hair. Every time I go through with the blow dryer, I'm stabilizing it at the scalp. And you want to do the same thing too. So in the end, you should be able to run your fingers through your child's hair. When it's blow dried, it should be blow dried straight from root to end without any extra heat. So if this helped you, make sure you like and subscribe to Shiloh's channel and make sure you check out her other videos. This was the finished style that I did. Look out for the video. I'll show you exactly how I did this style too.